Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 69 of my lower league management playthrough in Football Manager 2014 with Bar City. Another big episode right now. We've hit a really good run of form. Of course, we've lost one game, but the form overall in the last month or so, look at all these results. Been unbeaten since that FA Cup uh, second qualifying rounds against Boram Wood, who's one of the better teams in the league. Where are they sitting right now? Yeah, they're second, so... The good run started there. We beat some good teams. Recently lost against Worcester. 2-1 uh, away from home. So it's not like we got completely dominated against. So yeah, we've been actually playing really, really well. FA Cup runs as well. We've made the FA Cup first round once again. And that's a big... I think I've made that three times out of this whole save already. Which is pretty good. I've made the first round three times. This is the third time I've made it. It would be in four seasons now. So that's a pretty good effort, if you ask me, to get to the first round, which is above my expectations once again. Uh, but today, we have a game against Bishop Stortford. Absolutely crucial game. We well, we actually can't take their position because they're four points ahead of us, but we can see already the differences being made already. Look at this. Uh, between us, which is seventh, and between fifth is four point difference. So there's a gap. That's what I mean. There's a gap separating already. So we can't fall behind. Right. We've got to start keep winning right now. Especially in the league. Absolutely crucial. We've got quite a few games in a row. Uh, before the next FA Cup game. So it's going to be a lot of focus uh, towards that. And once again we've got big injuries as you know. Lewis Putman. It's only a small injury. But he's missing. That's what I mean by a big injury. He's a big player missing. It's not. It's only a couple of days. He's away, but still, it's a big miss. And anyone to come in, I guess I'll just bring in Tom Tolley, of course. He'll come into that role. And then Ryan Plowright, who's a big miss. Like He's our key go-to right back. Like Who else do we have? I bring this Nick Swarad guy in. I'll take him off reserve games cause, so he can start just playing the first team. He hasn't got the best ratings in the world, does he? Uh, but he's got good defensive attributes in terms of his marking and tackling. That's about it. He's had, I think, one good game for us. If you go back and see, he had a 7.2 rating against Wildston. So he can play well because he's got those attributes. But of course, we have to take some subs off here. Uh, there you go. Just to make, yeah, make them all fit. Uh, Wooten will probably make the bench and George Byers as well or... Now, Ben Garner, he's still playing reserve games until he can get at least competent uh, to play as a defensive midfielder because he's not amazing. Even though he's five-star report, he doesn't look that amazing on his attributes. He just looks okay, like not better than the players we have already. That's what I mean. But look at these injuries, four injuries. That's big, missing four players in your team. But anyway, we'll look to move on here. Like I still think we have a strong team. It's not too bad. Like, you've got Tolly and Gurney up front, two really good talents. And Gurney, he's insane. Look at those ratings. I really love him in the team right now. He's a really good player. And you know what Tolly can do in terms of scoring goals. Uh, he's improving his passing now as well. That's going up to a seven, so that's pretty strong. And then you've got Williams. You know, he's been consistent for us. Uh, Stern as well, probably been the better player, but he's more older. Uh, Dutton and Stavrenu, pretty solid uh, center defensive mids, in my view. Uh, really good defensive midfielders for this level. Uh, but with Stav Renew, I have been working on his strength in training, and that's going up. That's probably where he needs to work on a bit. And then Dutton, you know, he he's actually the captain now for us, and he's going up in some attributes for a 31-year-old. So that is really, really good. And that's about it. And you know the defense... Uh, and Bungu, you know the guy we signed, he's been a great player for me in the games he's played, but he hasn't played much, he's like, had the, look at that, five cup starts and only one start in the league, so it's time for him to make an impact in the league, I believe, so I think this is the team we'll go in with, yep, let's go, try and win this, got to keep the run going, and it's against a big team as well, see if we lose this, the gap will be even shown even more, so this is actually a really crucial game for so many reasons. Let's just go into it here. I'm just thinking, uh, what should I do? Like Team talks, they seem really crucial at this level. Assertive second option. A lot of players listening keenly. No bad reactions. That's always good. At least I can avoid bad reactions. That's all right. But here we have to look to perform really well. Hopefully we can get off to a good start. If we score early, we'll be good. If they score, it'll be bad, of course. 
but they give it up straight to us. Here's going to be our chance. Gilliam's down the left wing. Can he put it in? Oh, he did. Oh, we look good here. We look good. Chance after chance, unless they have one here. Oh, no, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, but they just gave it to Churchill right there. Not too bad. And I feel as though when Mbongu is starting, we play really well. Oh, here we go again. No, but and that's what I mean. He's only started one league game. So it's not like he's made a huge impact. He's only started once in the league. So maybe, yeah, we need him. He's the key player. I've mentioned once before, maybe vocally he's a good player. It's one of those traits or attributes you can't really tell. It's one of those hidden attributes in the game. Oh, no. We gave it away. And it's again. I'm done. It's another uh, error. Just giving away the ball that's led to a goal. Oh, that's what I mean. The player. This is why we can see just our player quality is not good enough at this level. You just give the ball away and then they score. Ashley Vincent. I remember him being in one of my teams before. Not this year. A couple of years ago, maybe, when I played at this level. But, yeah, anyway, not a great start. Disappointing. Just That's what I mean. You can give the ball away just like that. And you can concede. Uh, very disappointing. And yeah, playing at this level, oh, here's again. Yeah, I knew. See, before he got it, I knew. I just, I knew. Free kicks at this level, you can get a good free kick taker and they'll score. Uh, Xavier Verdal, or Verdal, sorry. And I have no idea who he is. But he scored. 2-0, this is not great. But they're one of the better teams in the league. See, it's been the same. Trying a different tactic. It just... This level, players make too many mistakes. Aggressive. Come on, motivate. This is just getting more frustrating <laughs> as time goes on. Even I've been on good form recently. So, yeah, I don't know. Go, Tolly. Put it in. Oh, we're missing key players. We've got like four injuries, you sure, before the game. Putman is crucially one of those. Stern, put it in now. Come on, Tolly. More of that. Yes. Straight in from halftime, we score. Great team talk, I guess it was, to affect that. And Tom Tolly with his sixth goal of the season. Stern, once again, he's a great player. He's great. And good finish for Tolly. Keeper couldn't save it. Go. Tolly again. Oh, he tries one. Oh, he did. How good is he going to be? <laughs> he is insane. He's hits, yeah, he does hit some amazing shots. Now, look at this on the 3D. Bang. Over the goalkeeper's head. You're not going to save that at this level. Oh, we're back. I was thought 100% we were going to lose this game. Dan Ball needs to be sub, though. We'll bring on Agyapong. Uh, Mbongu, he hasn't played well. I'm surprised. Uh, but who do we bring on? Valia, maybe? But two... Yeah, actually. Gurney hasn't played great, so bring Tolly to complete forward. Uh, I'll just do two for now. Because who knows, I could get an injury or something, you know, with the low conditions. So got to be careful. Pressure is off for both players, and it'll happen. It'll get the same reaction. No, it won't. That guy, uh, Agapong, it said, look, reacts, maybe yeah, relax, maybe overly so. But here, it said, just relaxed. Sometimes I notice they always get it. But anyway, that's all good. Don't worry about that. We can win this game, or at least avoid a loss. If we pick up a draw, it'll be okay. But here we'll go into another sub to try and win it. Who do we have that can make an impact? Um, I don't know. George Byers, and we'll take off Dutton. Low condition, come on. And again with him, no pressure because he's a young player. He seems relaxed. Come on, we can. And it won't be a goal here, just one of those highlights when you want to make a sub. Well, I hope it's not a goal. Yeah, thought so. But they still have it. Yeah, clear it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So I'd be happy just to finish 2-2 and get a point away from home against one of the better teams. Oh, don't score, please. Okay, well done. I'm scared here, actually. I'm scared. But we dealt with it somehow. Just avoid a loss. Pick up a draw away from home against one of the better teams. That will be okay. It's Oh, no. Don't do it, game. Oh, I knew it. There you go. 
Ah, uh, well done. And here comes the goal. Oh, Churchill saved it! Wow. At this level, it's really... It's very rare players miss penalties because goalkeepers aren't good enough to save it. But he did, he actually saved it. And that's... Oh, and then they get it from that. That's... Oh, BS. Wow. I thought it was saved. And we wouldn't have conceded. But th I thought that was the highlight. I thought the, the penalty was the highlight. And that turned out, wow. What did I say? Exactly what I said. The game wanted them to win. They gave them a penalty. They couldn't score it. So there they go from the corner. Not more I can say about that. <laughs> Rubbish. We should have got a point from that. Shouldn't have been a loss. I'm going to say assertively, unlucky, it wasn't our night. It definitely wasn't. <laughs> With the BS in that game late. Gave him a penalty, they couldn't score it, so they just gave him another chance and they finished it as they would do. Oh, and look at this here. I'm probably the favourite to be sacked right now. That's rubbish. I've gave this team so much. I've improved. I've gave them youngsters. If I get fired, like, honestly, this series has got so good. I know it's probably not realistic to do, but I would just be another. I'll make another manager and take over as as Bath because it will feel, it will feel wrong, because you want to see how Tolly develops and everything like that. And Gurney, their great talents, and Churchill who saved that penalty. Like yeah, if I get fired, I wouldn't. I couldn't see myself being another team. It just. I did that last time and I couldn't even find another club. But yeah, I'll just create a new manager because people really like this and it's getting me a lot of subscribers, I noticed. So yeah, I'm just going to continue it regardless. <laughs> I don't care. But to avoid that, I could just get a win here. Come on. Okay, who's this Ricketts guy in our team? He could maybe do something, but he hasn't been great in the non-competitive games for the reserves or under 18s he's playing in. But like... I'm still where we're expected to be around mid-table, but I said, yeah, the thing is, because I, sa I said we we're going to come first to get more wage budget, to build a better team that people want, people who's viewing my videos. Uh, but anyway, it's going to be frustrating if I can't get a win here. Um, but look at all the injuries, though. They've got to keep that in mind. I'm going to bring Ben Garner, actually. He might do something special from centre-back, I don't know. Yeah, because Wooten's not fit. He's tired. Actually, what I'm going to do here... Oh, look at Mbongu. Look at his low ratings as well. I'm going to take Swirad out. He's crap. I'll put Ball right back and Agupong left back. I've got to do something. I don't know. Brendan Vallia. I'm going to take off Tolly. But he scored two goals in the last game. It's not his fault. That's the thing. It's not Tolly's. He's not the one that's playing badly. So I don't know. Stern's playing good. He's got a good rating. Williams as well. We're missing key players. Pat Kieri, who he signed. Three players who he signed are injured this season. Poole, Plowright, and Kieri. All our injured players are the ones that we signed. So that's all I need to say, really. And two of them centre-backs. Well, yeah, Curtis McKenzie, who's suspended, who'd come in for Mbongu. But still, it's frustrating. I guess a Watton will come on when he's low condition, but he's low as well, so it's not going to be great. Or Swirad. But still, we were unlucky to lose the last game, in my view. But yeah, okay. If people think it's bad if I were to create a new manager that I shouldn't, if I get fired, I just have to deal with it. I'm just going to go back. I'll do more of Arsenal because I can be successful with big teams. I don't know. At this level, it's... The players are just so bad. That's what I mean. They make so many mistakes. It's not like my tactic is bad. Use it with a good team and phew, you dominate, more or less. Like looking to win the league with Arsenal, I should probably continue that a bit more. But we'll see what happens here. Oh, Tolly again. Oh, no. Now, Williams. Put it in or not go back. Unless it leads to a goal. Nah. Why do you go back? Go forward. Go now. Oh. Needs to be a win here. If we lose against uh, Western Supermare, they're not a great team. They're just like mid-table. And we need to show we're better. Hasn't been the greatest of starts. Picks up a yellow card here for Dutton. Uh, another yellow card. Go Churchill. See, play out of defense. That's what I want. If I had better quality players, we would be really good. But I'm restricted with the money. 
Ball. Dutton. Stern. Dutton. Finds Gurney. Come on. This guy's going to be so good. So I need to keep winning. So I can stay in this club. I would hate another manager to succeed. Uh, because of my good... Well, it's not. Uh, it's hard to say because they came through the youth academy. It's not like I signed them, but still, I still count as I produce them <laughs> in my head anyway. And Bongo Drums gets a yellow card. Come on. We're winning. Hold on to it. I have to praise them, don't I? I don't know. Guard against complacency. People say that's good to do when you're winning 1-0. But of course, a player that's doing well... Um, Gets a bad reaction. Now he's confused. Uh, it's just funny. I tried to tell him he did well. He didn't respond to that. It'll be interesting to see how Garner goes as a centre-back, because you know he can play there a little bit, but he hasn't really got amazing defensive attributes. Oh, no, Gurney's on a yellow. Oh, no, they're in, but ooh, lucky, bad shot. I'm thinking to make some changes uh, so he can prevent that a bit more. And I'm probably going to change... I just want to change to control here, control it a bit more in midfield, and put our defensive mids on defend. And wingers maybe just on support, not as attacking. Got to be smart about it. And Bongo is going to have to come off. He's got a yellow card in low condition. That is not a good mix. We'll bring on the experience of Wooten. You think experience should tell. And who else? Uh, Tolly hasn't had the best of games. Uh, so we'll bring on Brandon Vallier. You know he can score. And that's all we'll do for now in case we get red or injury. And Vallier, no pressure. So two great reactions. One looking happy and one no pressure. Come on. We need to keep winning. Because if I get sacked, it's the biggest joke in the world. It would be the biggest joke in the world, what I've done. Uh, people say you haven't got promoted yet, but in terms of improving the club, I've done that, I believe, with the talents I've brought to the club. Churchill, first-team goalkeeper. Tolly and Gurney, first-team strikers. Uh, who do I... I'll just take Stern off to keep his fitness for the next game. We better hold on to the win here, not take it out of our grasp. This is this should be three points, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how what happens in the last ten minutes here. Yep, we should have this. We've got it. We should have it right here. Oh no, there's a highlight. Ah, oh, I won't stand. About time, game. Yeah, give them a disallowed goal. Thank you. And it was. Look how offside that was. Yeah, it was a bloody cheat. His name should be Suarez. But anyway. Oh no, there's going to be another highlight. Because there's more than a minute left. Oh no. Why did I say that? No, please. I don't deserve to lose. Oh, come on, Churchill. That's what I mean. I produced this young talent and he's saving us here. Well done. That's what we want. That is what I want to see. That is what I want to see. He's saving us from the game. Who's trying to get me fired. But there we go. That is what I want to see. Three points and we're still in ninth. That's what I mean. But the next game again. Once again it's crucial to win. And it's against Basingstoke who just lost. They're down. Yeah 16. We should be beating them. We should be. Come on. And we're fined. Who cares? We won. I don't care. Oh and that was fan day as well. What? What? It says, unfortunately, the match experience was somewhat of a disappointment and the board aren't sure. Why? Why was it a disappointment? We won the game. I swear this game is dumb at s sometimes. How was it a disappointment? We won. <sighs> I don't get it. The game is confusing in a lot of ways. <laughs> but anyway, I'm still... Should I keep working on attacking? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to work on defending set pieces. But I'll still work on the general training of attacking because Bassingstoke... I should be beating. They're 16th and they just lost 1-0. Come on. Haha, <laughs> look at this right here. It says, Gallinar questions struggling bath. Well, you never did anything good for us. 
Look at this, average ratings. First year, from my memory, if I'm being honest, first year was okay. Then they just made too many errors for us. Second season, scored a few goals. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, I find it funny that he questioned us. And then he would still consider signing. That makes no sense. But anyway... He's questioning poor recent form. But my recent form has been decent. Look at all those wins. Oh, sure, two losses there, but still. Against good teams. <laughs> I find that a bit funny. Anyway, uh, we've got the FA Trophy draw as well. If we could go a run here as well, it could help me possibly keep my job. Like, I don't feel I'm doing badly. Especially on my recent form. Like... The game can be harsh sometimes, but for me to be uh, the favoured uh, manager to get sacked, it's a bit wrong. So all I can do is keep winning, right? That's all you can do. Stavrenu is suspended, so unfortunately he's going to come out. Uh, bring in George Byers. Uh, Curtis McKenzie is going to make a comeback. Mbongu, he needs a little bit of a break, but I'm still going to play him. Take Garner out, still unsure about him to play uh, as a centre-back when we need to win. But Putman is back, straight back in. Gurney out, his condition too low. Partman condition about the same, but the difference in quality. 18 finishing. Come on, Partman. We've hardly had you this season. He's play only had two starts. Our key player, really, on his performances. Not by attributes or coach report, but still. He's a key player, in my view. And player right still injured as well, so still playing ball at right back. And look at the low conditions, though. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us, but it's not like we have many other options, do we? Actually, Ball hasn't even played that great. So I'm going to take him off, bring Swarad into right back. And that's all we can do, I guess. Not much more. So let's go try and win this against Basingstoke, who's 16th. If we want to be winning the title, <laughs> which is a long way from here, we have to be beating a team down below. So just hard tackle here. Sam Smith as well, hard tackle. Matt Dradge, or have you say his name, Drage. No idea if they come on, these low condition players. But i got to look. Sam, he doesn't look that good. But he's got seven goals in eight games. I don't know. It's his physical attributes. They're hard to stop. Physical players, they're hard to stop. All you can really do is tight mark and hope for the best. And maybe show until week of four. I don't know. But their wide players, Roy O'Donovan, he's not that good. He's got some assists though. But Adam Green... Who's this guy? Again, doesn't look that great. So we just got to hope our team plays better. That's all we got to do. So we go assertively. Yeah, avenge what happened last time. Go. So we lost against them last time. So that's not good news. Have to show we are the difference makers here. This has to be... A oh, no, not again. Not another corner. Please don't concede it. What's happening? What's happening? Fuck. <laughs> That was scary. I always get scared with corners. Like, my team seems to defend so crap. But that time, they defended it. Well, I guess I've been working on defending set pieces this week before this game. So, maybe that helped us there. Stern. Yes! Come on, it's Tolly again. Nice goal. We're in the lead early. Oh, it was our own goal, was it? I thought it was. I thought I just wasn't sure. It showed Tolly, though. What happened there? See, there's the, I mean, the defender. Uh, yeah, um, I get, Tolly was celebrating. I thought it was his, but yeah, here, oh no. I wanted to change. Oh, we better not concede if we do. It didn't even give me time to change. Please don't concede. Oh, good tackle, Agupong. Well done. Oh, but they get it back. And they're going to... Oh, close. Now I can do it. So you just see... Like, it wasn't just the excuse. I did want to go more defensive. So let's go defend here. And we'll just go on counter, maybe? Or just go fully defensive? Yeah, let's just do that. And wingers support. I'll definitely have to make a defensive version of this tactic, but... If this was at home, I'd still go attacking. But yeah, that's all we can do from here, I think. Yeah, let's go. Make those changes. Uh, be a bit more... Oh, we get an injury, of course. But at least we have Dan Ball on the bench. He'll come straight on. But again, it's another injury. 
Come on, Dan Ball. He looks happy. He's one of our better defenders in terms of ratings. Come on, just get this win. Please get it. Oh, Williams, well done. Just defend. That's what we've got to focus on for the whole game. Defend. And this is what people say about me. I don't change tactic or change things during the game. And Tolly, oh, he should have finished. See, if that was a high-quality player, back of the net 2-0, that's what I mean when I talk about the players are not good enough. Uh, when I talk about qu player quality, and if I had high-quality players, I'll do better. That's perfect explanation. But, yeah, that's what people say about me. Like, I don't change ta my tactic during a game. And, yeah, I'll do it now and see, what, see if it does impact. Come on. Don't get complacent. There's always some little cunt that doesn't get happy. They get stressed or some crap. Uh, Williams, I just say, I'm happy with your performance. Well, whew, that's lucky. He hasn't played good. I'm surprised he's got a good reaction. But anyway, we fixed that. And yeah, we should defend well for the rest of the game. Please. Please. It's all in my player's hands. My job, if I'm honest. Tolly. It'll be great to finish the last game here in this episode with a win. It go Oh, so close. Putman now. Pen! Yes! Now, please score a penalty. He won't miss. He's got like 19 penalties, 18 finishing, 17 composure, or 16. He should get it. And he does. There you go. It's 2-0. Oh, come on. I'm definitely thinking I should... Uh, create a defensive version of this tactic because it shows I can also score while playing defensively. But again, yeah, I may do that after this episode, just privately. Oh, Putman again. Oh, he looks on. He looks on, though. Just hopefully he doesn't get injured. But I wouldn't be surprised if he does. When he looks back on form, he'll get injured. I wouldn't be surprised. But <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, we look stronger in this game. Oh, no. Look at this low condition. Ross Stern will bring on Slauson and Bongu who will bring on Wooten. But yeah, a lot of low condition players here. Just make sure we win this game. Yeah, good reactions there. Come on. Make sure we get the three points as we're pushing into the playoffs. Surely we can't get... Oh, no. Please. Please not. I worked on defending set pieces in the training this week. You would think it would make an impact. And a guy who scores his first of the season and a guy who's got an injury, he's got a knock and he gets a good assist from a corner. Oh, no, highlight right away. Please don't give it away. We deserve the three points in this game. Go, Putman. Score one, please. No... I'm really scared I'm just going to drop the points. Oh, but Slauson's on. The guy on loan. The guy on loan. Get in, son. We've got it. Whew. Now, this time we respond right away. Thank God. I was scared there. But Tolly found Slauson. And another goal while playing on defensive. So, who knows? I'll definitely, yeah, I'm really considering to make a defensive tactic with this. What a performance. Away from home as well. <laughs> That's going to go in, but the game's over. Ah, Yes, Tolly, two assists as well. Shows he can assist George Byers, player of the game, or player of the match, to be exact. But I'm very pleased with that. George Byers, he's definitely going to need more chances because he's got high potential. He's a guy who can improve throughout the season and help us do well. Look at that. He definitely deserves to start. He has some really good games for us. Now we win again. We're seven points away from first, the position I said we will finish, and but Hava and Waterlooville have an extra game to play. Uh, free guards satisfied with the win, so I think that's about it. Yeah, uh, FA Cup against Tamworth, huge game. Uh, school Premier side who are predicted to come 16th, and they're 20th, so I would give myself a good chance to win that, and you get like 16k for this round, so that's really good. So leave your thoughts on how I'm going uh, so far and this episode as well had a loss but then picked up with two wins looking better now so hopefully you enjoyed it if you did drop a like and i'll see you guys next time